SpaceX has successfully launched astronauts to the International Space Station and has brought them back to Earth safely. How did they do it? By using this rocket called Falcon 9. This rocket is made up of three parts. The first part, a stage 1 rocket, contains fuel and its job is to get astronauts above a majority of the Earth's atmosphere. Once it has done that, it detaches from the rest of the rocket and makes its way back to Earth safely to be reused for a future mission. It has 9 engines. This is the stage 2 rocket. It only has one engine and its job is to get the astronauts into proper orbit. Once it has done its job, it also detaches from the rest of the remaining rocket. This section however is not reusable, so it is essentially just left in space and it will eventually fall back to earth. The remaining rocket is called the Dragon. It is this part that attaches to the International Space Station. It consists of two sections. The capsule, which is the white cone-shaped section, this is where the astronauts sit. The other section is called the trunk. It contains solar panels to provide power, plus it can also carry cargo. astronauts are ready to come back, they hop into the capsule and undock from the International Space Station. Just before re-entering Earth, the capsule and the trunk separate. The trunk is not built to withstand the extreme heat that the rocket will go through during re-entry. The trunk is also just left in space. Only the capsule comes back to Earth and deploys parachutes to safely land on water. This was the animation. Now let's see the real footage of all of this. Denver launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2 now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. Vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. This is a stage 1 separation. The single engine of a stage 2 is now exposed and it starts to fire up to get astronauts into proper orbit. This is a stage 2 separation. The thing moving away is actually the dragon. So that's where the astronauts are. This footage is taken from the International Space Station looking down at the SpaceX Dragon with astronauts that will soon approach the International Space Station. This footage is from the SpaceX Dragon looking at the International Space Station as it docks. It is a 28 hour journey from liftoff 
to docking with the International Space Station and the return trip from International Space Station to landing on water on Earth takes around 19 hours. Here is the footage of the Dragon undocking from the International Space Station. Of course, after this, the capsule and the trunk separate, but I couldn't find any actual footage of this. But after the capsule and the trunk separate, the capsule re-enters Earth. After landing on water, the capsule is brought on board a boat The hatch of the capsule is manually opened from the outside and astronauts are pulled out onto a stretcher. Why a stretcher? Because astronauts might not be able to stand on their legs because they will spend months in zero gravity so their body is going to take some time adjusting to Earth's gravity. Anyways, that's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or ideas on what I should make my next video on, please let me know in the comment section. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm gonna step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind.